Hi, I'm Terry and this is The Catholic Breakdown. One of the questions that I get a lot is, what's the deal with saints? Are they gods? No. Thanks for watching. Okay, let's dig deeper and let's do a Q&A with some real questions I've gotten over the years. So who is a saint? A saint is someone who's in heaven with God. It comes from Latin, meaning sacred. Depending on the translation of your Bible, you may see this word many times or a few times and in various contexts. But for Catholics, we're referring to somebody whose earthly journey has ended and is in the very presence of God. A person whose earthly journey has ended? You mean dead? How can a dead person hear me? So while the person here on earth has died, they are fully living in the presence of God. Scripture to back this up can be found in two spots. In Matthew 17, we see Elijah and Moses appear to Jesus. These are two guys who have been dead for quite some time. Yet, there they are, talking with Jesus during the Transfiguration. The second piece of scripture comes from Mark 12. We see here Jesus referring to God as the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Jesus then says that God is the God of the living, not the dead. But at this point, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob have long since been worm food, which means that while they died here on earth, they must be alive in heaven. But how can they hear me? This answer is found in Revelation 5, where John is describing heaven. In this chapter, John describes the elders falling down before Christ, each holding a harp and a gold bowl full of incense, which is the prayers of the people. These elders, these saints, can hear our prayers and pray for us before God. They are partakers of the glorious mysteries of heaven. Does that mean that they're gods? No, they definitely are not. There's only one God, and to have any other gods would break the first commandment. Then talk to me about praying to the saints. Doesn't that make them seem like gods? So this is definitely a point that can be very confusing. But we use the terms praying to God and praying to saints very differently. Prayer, as most Christians understand it, is reserved for God alone. In our prayers, we express honor, praise, and glory. We tell him our needs and our wants. However, the definition for praying to saints is more like talking to them. Think of the olden phrase, pray tell, which means talk to me. But we confusingly use the same word for both, even though they're very different. Now, asking a saint to pray for you is just like asking your friend Tom to pray for you. It's literally the same. Literally. 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 It's also worth noting that all of our prayers, whether to God or the saints, are made in the name of Jesus. And a prayer to a saint sounds a lot more like, Saint Maria Goretti, pray for me. It doesn't sound like, Saint Maria Goretti, make it rain tomorrow. She has no authority over the weather. She's not God but she can pray for me. But why pray to saints? Doesn't 1 Timothy 2 say that Jesus is the only mediator? Yes, Jesus is the only mediator, in the sense that he, and he alone, has reconciled us to the Father. His death, and only his death, has paid the debt for our ancient sinfulness. However, that does not mean that others can't pray for us. Rather, seeking out others to pray for us is encouraged. Just before that verse in 1 Timothy 2, it is written, I ask that all supplications, prayers, petitions, and thanksgivings be offered for everyone. And the reason why we like to ask saints to pray for us is because they're literally in the presence of God. They're holy enough to be in heaven. And James 5 tells us that the prayers of a holy person are very powerful. So why not take advantage of that? I thought there was a verse in Deuteronomy 18 about not contacting the dead. The scriptures there refer to necromancy and oracles. Think Ouija boards. Catholics are not allowed to use Ouija boards. And we're asking a friend who happens to be in heaven to pray for us. We're not saying, curse Timmy! Do you have to pray to saints? Not at all. It's not a requirement to pray to saints any more than it's a requirement to have anybody else pray for you. If it's not required, why ask a saint to pray at all? Because sometimes they know the words to say when we're unable to find them. Either because of elation or grief, sometimes we're just struck dumb. And while God knows our hearts and our intentions, we still ask others to help us find the words that we need. We still find the need to pray even when we can't. So we ask others to help. And these are people who over the course of two millennia have talked the talk and walked the walk and are now in the presence of God. So even though I'm not a saint, I'm gonna pray for you and I'm gonna ask that you pray for me. God bless and get a colonoscopy. Whoa, hey, hey, nice jacket. Thanks, not so bad yourself. Looking sharp.